Hey, what's up family? Sensei from Ride Fit Nation. Today we're going to talk about buying your first motorcycle. I got one of the family members here on the channel to reach out to me on Instagram and ask that specific question. What are some of the things that I should be looking for when I'm purchasing my first motorcycle? And you know what's interesting to me about motorcycles? It's like, you know, if you're going out looking for the perfect bike on your first bike, you might win it, you might not. It's hard to find the perfect bike, but there are many different elements uh, that you should be looking for before you purchase your motorcycle. And, and you gotta research, right? You have to research. Because think about this, when you were younger, and let's say you had your first girlfriend. If you're a female, your first boyfriend, okay? You don't know what the heck you're really looking for right away. What you do know is that you like this person, but you're not you're not confident on the qualities that you're looking for yet. You don't know. So you give it a try. You're like, yep, I think I'm in love. And then you realize after a while, they keep a dirty house or they don't brush their teeth in the morning. They don't take a shower. They don't know how to cook. Uh, you know, the sex is, is bad. There's a lot of elements that goes in that. Well, the same thing that goes with your motorcycle. Your motorcycle can do the same thing. So what I did was this, because I know there are many different elements and each person is so different, I reached out to a lot of my YouTube family members and I'm talking about YouTubers that you guys all know and I asked them if they can shoot a video with two of the most important things that they look for when buying a motorcycle. What are the two most important things that you should be looking for before buying your motorcycle, your first motorcycle? And this can also apply to your second motorcycle. By the time you get to your third bike, you are good. I don't want to kill that squirrel, so I have to move out the way. I don't, if I got room, I'm going to move. But these squirrels are my buddies. I don't want to kill them, but they're not going to kill me either. But if I have the opportunity to change it, I'm going to change it. Anyway, back to, back to topic. So let's, let's start off first with hearing what my man, Q the Rider, has to say from riding and wrenching. Q, what do you got? best advice I could give to someone who's looking for their first motorcycle, invest in training first. If you haven't taken the MSF course, definitely do that. And then look into taking some other training. You could train with Robert Simmons, be the boss of your motorcycle. He has a motorcycle he will rent. You can go to Lock and Lean. They rent motorcycles. I believe Jerry Palladino will rent a motorcycle. Invest in good quality training, learn how to ride and be proficient at riding before you look at buying a bike. The next thing I would tell you before you decide what type of bike you're going to get is decide what type of riding you want to do. There's a whole lot of different types of bikes you can get depending on what you want to do. For me, I enjoy long distance riding, so I have a road glide, but I also enjoy motorcycle rodeo, so I also happen to have a road king. Um, but if you're somebody that wants to do the go fast thing through twisties and on track days, you probably want a sport bike or maybe you are, will be into adventure riding or off-road riding. So that's a different type of motorcycle. But once you become a junkie, you're probably gonna have several motorcycles, but learn more about the type of riding that you want to do before you buy that first bike. And then that will help guide you to the bike that you want. And then finally, I'll tell you, consider renting a bike. Once you get close to the type of riding you wanna do, then rent different types of bikes that are in that category and that will help you make sure that that first bike you get is gonna make you happy. All right, so did you got it? So did you have it? You heard about that portion. One of the things that he stressed a lot was making sure you take those classes. Take the classes. It's imperative. Yes, buying a motorcycle is not just about going and buying your bike. It's also about taking the time to understand the safeties of your bike. All right, now let's head on over to Yogi Harley Chick, which is one of my favorite, favorite female riders on YouTube. She is phenomenal. I need for you to check her out. Okay, what, what do we got? Let's hear, what, let's hear what's coming up on this one. Hey, new rider. If I was to give you two tips or two bits of advice that helped me out when I first started, the first one would be to sit on every bike. So if you go into a dealership to get your first motorcycle, sit on every single bike, see what feels right for you, regardless of engine size. Of course, you're not gonna start out on something like this. I mean, I, don't, I really wouldn't advise that, but you don't necessarily have to go for a sportster. 
The second bit of advice is once you get your bike home, practice, practice, practice. So that means going around the block, going to an empty parking lot and um, just practicing. That's all it takes, lots of practice and lots of patience and good luck in your riding journey. I hope it works out for you. So as you can see, she has bikes in her garage. She rides every last one of those bikes in her garage. And I, I think there's one more bike that's missing in that, in that video. But she is phenomenal. Be sure to check out these channels, guys. Check out the channels. Make sure you subscribe and let them know Sensei sent you over here. Now, when we talk about people who ride two up, maybe maybe a person looking for a first bike to ride with their spouse. Uh, two up journey junkies is my favorite when it comes to two up riding. They ride all over the place. It's the husband and wife, Sam and Susan. Check them out. Let's see what they have to say. I know they're very big on safety, so let's see what they got to say. Hey guys, it's Susan and Sam with the Two Up Journey Junkies. And our <laughs> friend Sensei asked us to give two tips um, for motorcycle riding. It's hard to narrow it down to two. That's for sure. But uh, our top two are... First off, like, <laughs> first is safety. Big time. That is the most important thing. You know, paying attention to where you're going, your surroundings. Um, and a helmet, a really good helmet. Yeah, like, a helmet. We spend, Even it, I spend a lot on my helmet, but to me, it's the most valuable thing that I could buy. Right. Being a writer. Even a if you, circle. even if you live in a state that is a no helmet law state, like these things are already dangerous. Looking at them, it's dangerous. So you put your leg over one. I mean, it's already dangerous. But you can still have fun doing it and enjoying it. Um, you know, just because you come up to that green light or just because you, when you come up to a light and it turns green, it doesn't mean go right away. You need to look, you know, both ways again. Make sure that car that's running the red light who doesn't care about anybody else's life, you know, make sure they're not screaming through. Um, you know, and really pay attention to your surroundings. I always say keep your head on a swivel. I pray a lot when I'm on a bike. <laughs> Uh, the second thing is, is I used to sell uh, motorcycles at Harley Davidson. People always think they need to go smaller, you know, baby steps in and work their way up. But you gotta think about this. You're gonna outgrow that bike in three months, well, six months or less. So you might as well just go ahead. Get the bike you want. Get the bike you want and you can still go practice. Um, first and foremost, go take the class. Um, I know a lot of people don't, but a lot of people do. Um, but yeah, just, it doesn't, you do not have to buy the small bike to learn on. You can learn on any bike. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's our top two that, things. Yeah. Enjoy the journey yeah. guys. I like, I like when Sam was like, I pray a lot. Yeah. You need to pray a lot in this, in this day and age on bikes because people are just not paying attention anymore a person will see you coming and think they have enough time and cut in front of you so that's a, that's another beautiful thing that was stated okay so one of my dudes that i that live in my state that's my man trey on ripping on twos his wife viviana is always saying ripping on threes because she rides a trike but trey what do you have to say about what people should look for when they are looking to buy their bike Yo, peace peace ride fit nation Trey B from Ripping on Two Wheels. So two things that I think you should take into consideration as a new rider when purchasing your bike. Number one, the size. Make sure that you're picking a bike that is right for your size. You don't wanna get something if you're a shorter rider that's too big or too tall for you to uh, plant your feet flat on the ground. And you don't wanna get anything as a taller rider that's too short for you or too small for you. You won't be comfortable whatsoever. All right, number two is pick the right bike that's gonna be adequate for the type of riding that you're doing. If you're doing just local riding, hitting the local bike scenes, the local uh, bars and pubs and things like that, you don't necessarily need a big bagger or anything like this. And if you're going on longer distance rides, you definitely don't want something that's too small and uh, doesn't give you the, you know, the comfort um, and the durability that you need when on those longer rides. These bikes here, they have the infotainment center, they're comfortable, they have enough space for the long distance rides where something like a Sportster or uh, Street Bob, Fat Bob, something like that, they don't necessarily have the you know, necessary space or the comfort to take you on those longer trips. So again, those two things, 
Make sure you're getting a bike that's right for your size. Make sure that you're getting a bike that's adequate for the type of ride that you're gonna be doing. All right, peace. There you go. That's what's up, baby. And I'm loving that new bike that he got too, that 2024 Rogue Glide. That thing looks beautiful back there. All right, so one of my, so when it comes to getting your bikes repaired and buying parts for your bike and installs, my favorite dude is Raider World. And Raider World, this brother makes top quality videos. He travels, he does camping. I mean, this guy does a lot of stuff. Military, ex-military, this brother is all over the planet, all right? So Raider World, what do you have to say about somebody getting their first motorcycle? What's going on, Sensei, over at Ride Fit Nation? So yeah, if someone is looking into purchasing a new motorcycle or getting into riding, I would say, I uh, have a lot of tips, but I would say the best two would be, what is your riding style? Choose what that is. Go out there, ride a bunch of bikes. Go test ride them over at Harley. They'll let you test ride whatever bike you want. Uh, test ride those bikes. You're probably already watching a ton of YouTube videos. See what bike you like, ride that bike. Go ahead and see if that's what you want. If you're into touring or if you're into something fast and want to go you know, just around the block, make sure you go check that out. And then also, I would say my second tip is, whether standard or special, if you like working on your motorcycle, you plan on changing a bunch of stuff on it, or you want to start a YouTube channel, start on a bike, I would just say get a standard and then you can flip that over, make it a special, make it whatever you want. Uh, yeah, because you know, they got all types of aftermarket parts, you know, different colors, different pipes, different whatever you want. That would be my second tip. Other than that, make sure you ride safe and I'll see you on the next one. Ah, that's what I'm saying, bro. You see, are you guys understanding the stuff that's being talked about here? Do you see the similarities in some of the things that we're talking about? There's a lot of similarities with, with motorcycle riding. There's some things you're gonna hear that's gonna be repetitive. You know what I'm saying? Ready the world, thank you, bro. That's awesome. All right, so this, this guy, one of my buddies also is just GQ. GQ, he, if you don't know GQ, GQ rides pretty much all over the earth. And GQ does a whole lot of Narr narr narratives on his rides. It's like watching a darn movie. GQ, what do you have to say to these guys who's looking to buy their first bikes, their first bike or their second bike? What's your feedback on that? What up, family? Uh, two tips when looking to purchase your first motorcycle for a new rider. Um, first, I would probably ask like, what type of riding are you planning to do? Are you sticking mainly to the street? Are you looking to do off-roading, so on and so forth? Because that would determine whether you need a street bike or an uh, ADV or adventure bike. Um, there's adventure touring bikes like the Pan America. Uh, there's some BMW models out there that do really good. Uh, some Hondas, so on and so forth. Are you looking to stay toward more of the street? You have the bigger baggers like the Street Glides and the Road Glides, the Road Kings. Or do you want something a little smaller like a soft tail? or a diner or a low rider, so on and so forth. Second thing I would ask is, uh, when it comes down to engine size, what is sufficient enough power for you? Um, of course, the different touring models have the different size from 107s all the way up to 135s now. And the standard 24 models come with the 117s in their touring models right now. So uh, what's sufficient for you? And one thing that I, I, I tell myself and I tell other riders is that whatever speed you're at, it doesn't matter what engine that you, you have. So 100 miles an hour is 100 miles an hour in a 107, 114, 131, a 135. You know what I'm saying? So um, uh, comfort, that's, another, that's a huge thing. How do you like to sit on your bike is another uh, thing. Some some people like to sit in it like a sport bike, so an adventure bike will probably be better suited for you. Some people like a little bit more comfort, uh, like to lean back a little bit more, so a touring bike may be uh, better for you. It all depends on what your comfort level is. So my overall suggestion is go try them all out and see what you like and don't let anybody else influence you make an informed decision that is your decision and not anybody else's peace well said bro well said there are so many different motorcycles for real adventure bikes street bikes you got trikes you got touring bikes i mean it's a lot of bikes you're right understanding the type of riding that you want to do and if you guys realize that came up more than once right knowing the type of riding you want to do 
all right now let's move on let's get on over to coffee hogs and hear what coffee hogs has to say if y'all don't know coffee hogs this brother's a cool cat laid back i met him in daytona let's hear what he has to say what's up everybody this is manny from the coffee hogs two things you should think about when you're buying your first motorcycle number one never buy to your current skill level you'll outgrow that motorcycle quicker than you think and number two which is directly related to number one buy for your riding style think of where you're going to ride and how you're going to ride so in other words if you're riding in the city streets then that's one type of motorcycle if you're riding long distance and touring that's a different kind of motorcycle see you see what i'm saying guys hey thank you bro i appreciate that now here's another guy that you might not know about his channel is upcoming td205 TD205, that's my bro. I like TD205. I met him at I met him at uh, GQ's event, and we we end up doing some push-ups together in the Harley Davidson dealership. The brother's personality is off the charts. He's about riding. He's about ground pounding. All right, TD, what do you got to say about buying your first bike? How's it going, Sensei? How's it going, Ride Fit Nation? This is your boy TD205. Hey, two things that I look for when I'm buying a new motorcycle. Of course, price. I always look at who has the best price and who has the best deal because if it's not a deal you can't buy a bike so that's one thing I look for is price I want to find the best deal around town uh, you know what they say the customer is always right uh, second thing I look for is reliability is this motorcycle I'm about to purchase is it going to be reliable or will I be putting it in the shop every month something needs to be fixed um, that's two things I look for uh, course price and reliability baby it has to be a reliable bike because I want to ride it whenever I want to get on it and ready to ride I need it to be ready to go I can't be peeling around in the shop you know going back and forth and like I say number one is price uh, y'all continue to ride your bikes continue to stay safe and I'll catch you later peace out <laughs> that's what I'm talking about baby if you can't get a deal then there's no buy no motorcycle <laughs> that's right if you can't get a deal then what's the point of spending the full money in the bike try to find one that's a good deal get one that you can you can afford hell yeah all right so there you have it you heard from these guys don't forget to head on over to their channels tell them thank you for being able to just come on this channel and spread the love as well i reached out to a couple of the other guys they were not able to shoot those videos because of their schedule or whatever it was and um, I'm going to tell you, some of them, some of them definitely I, I, I respect and a lot of them, some of them decided not to respond back to me, but it's okay. I'm just going to unsubscribe from their channel. That's pretty much it. <laughs> now, nah, you know, I'm just joking around, man. I'm not, I'm not petty like that. You know, I'm just kidding. Y'all stop taking things so serious. So listen, when it comes to buying your motorcycle, you heard practice, 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 practice. You heard about looking for good deals. You heard about buying the bike that you know you want. So what if somebody said to maybe you're not going to start off big, you know, but, but you don't have to start off small either. You heard somebody say about practicing, going and taking these courses, understanding how to really ride your bike. You heard people say about praying more. You heard people talk about, you know, safety. You heard people talk about uh, looking for the bike that really matches your style of riding. It's a lot that comes with riding bikes. So buying your motorcycle, it's it's a it's a task. For my in my mind, if you're gonna buy a used bike, just know a couple of tricks to buy a used bike. You know what I mean? When you go look for that bike and you go to somebody's garage, test, test, check your know, touch the pipes, touch the motor. If you feel the motor is like hot or warm or whatever, just tap it. That means that that person just started a bike up so it can warm up before you got there. You don't want that because you want to you, you want the bike to start cold. You want to hear how that bike is gonna start cold. When you buy a secondhand bike, also remember you are buying into somebody else's problem. That's another thing you got to check to recognize. If you're looking to save money and you're buying a second bike, just recognize that you're buying somebody else's problem. If you come and buy my bike, like I'm selling beasts. I'm selling beasts for about 65,000. You want this bike, you ain't gonna have no problem. You're gonna just have a beast to ride. <laughs> 65,000, baby. But, but just be careful when you're buying used bikes. Don't be afraid to take the bike into a into a into a shop and let the techs do a full overall on the bike. Let them check the starter, the stator. Let them check the 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 the, 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 uh, the wheels. Let them check how the bike starts up. 
let them check all these little things that you might not think about. Now, the power and pluses of buying a bike pre-owned at a dealership is you can still get the warranty on your motorcycle because the warranty is where you are going to save some money. Now, don't get caught up in the Harley Davidson. If you're looking for Harley Davidson, don't get caught up in that little scam about how they try to keep you into the warranty. And no, I'm talking about just get, getting your bike covered for at least the first year. So when you ride the heck out of that bike, you, you can get all the little issues and all the little things that need to be tweaked. You see what I'm saying? When you buy a brand new bike, well, that's that's another story. When you buy a brand new bike, you're buying a brand spanking new bike. You're not expecting no problems, like zero issues on a brand new bike. And, and don't go crazy buying the most expensive bike in the lot if you know you're gonna customize your bike. Buy the bike that's the cheapest one in the lot because you know you're gonna rip it apart anyway. I bought a standard, that's what I got. I bought a standard and that's what Raider World was talking about. Buy a standard bike because you're gonna take it and do what you gotta do. My bike, I, I done took off the inner fairing, I done took off the tank, I done took off the whole rear tail, changed it out, took off the pipe, the headers. I done changed out everything. I powder coated all the chrome, made it all black. It's just so much stuff that I did. So I bought the cheapest version. I didn't want to buy anything else more expensive. So there's a lot that comes with riding your motorcycle. When you were buying your motorcycle, when you listen to what all these people had to say, you begin to hear in your head what you're really looking for. And don't just go and buy a motorcycle because your buddy's just riding the same motorcycle and you like it. No, do exactly what Q the rider says from riding and wrenching rent the motorcycles first go and rent a couple of bikes rent them spend a few a few hundred dollars and go and rent maybe a thousand dollars and just rent different bikes ride them for a couple of days see how you feel um road the road glides and the street glides we tend to have like a lower seat and posture whereas the adventure bikes you're more upright you see what i'm saying you're more upright you're more you have a a, a straight back posture so the race bikes you're more leaning forward if you back if you have back issues no those are no good for your back you know what I'm saying? Like, so look at all the different style bikes that you want. What seating pattern you want. Okay, I believe GQ said that. How do you want to sit on your bike? So all of those things go into play. All right? So you're looking to ride your first, buy your, buy your first bike. Congratulations. I hope that you get the bike that you love. Don't go and buy no little baby bike. Okay? Don't buy no little baby bike because you heard it. you heard what it was said. If you're moving at 80 miles an hour on a 600, it's still the same 80 miles an hour on a, on a, on a, on a 1,000. And I'm talking about CCs. It's just a matter of training yourself to understand the bike. So don't go and let somebody talk you into buying a little 500 Harley Davidson when you know you could have just went ahead and got yourself a street glide. Or you could have gotten yourself a street bar. You see what I'm saying? Just buy the bike you want. Learn into the bike. I'm repeating that because it was already said on the video. All right, so guys, let me know in the comment section, what are some of the things that you look for when you are buying your first motorcycle? What are some of the things that you was looking at? All right, because it's like everything else. There's many other things to research, many other things to consider. All right, this is Sensei. I'm keep on popping out this content. I'm gonna give you guys so much stuff for you to learn from, and I wanna learn from you guys as well. Just be positive in the comment section, and I'm gonna be positive with you in the comment section, okay? If you come off negative in the comment section, then understand that I, I, I don't have to say nothing in the comment section, but I will. I, I might respond to you, but with love. <laughs> you know what I'm With love. All right, guys, this is all about the family. If you haven't done it, join the GroupMe thread. The links is in the description. We're gonna be putting out rides, and as a matter of fact, I'm not the only one putting out rides. You guys can go in there and put, put your rides out too and see who comes, who shows up. That's what the whole point of doing this, coming off of YouTube alone and building something that's more, more personal. All right, so congrats to you. If you already bought your first bike, if you just bought your first bike, leave it in the comments how you feel about the bike you just bought. Do you feel like you wanna punch yourself in the neck, you made the wrong choice, or do you feel like you made the perfect choice and you've been riding like crazy? Number two, you're thinking about buying your first bike because you're watching a whole lot of videos of all of us riding all over the place. And now you took the class, you got the license, you know, you got the class M on your, on your license, but now you want to go and buy your first bike, but you don't know where to start. Leave it there. And I hope that this video helps you. All right. Number three, you got a motorcycle that you want to sell and somebody is looking to buy it, but they never bought a bike before. They never had a bike. They just started riding and you, you, you hold your bike dear, you know, dear to your heart. And you don't want to let the bike go because this guy, you don't trust this person to, to buy your bike. 
You know what I'm saying? Leave that in the comments. Yo, it's not just the buyers, it's the sellers too. All right, so yo, enough of my yapping. Like I always tell y'all, let's get these miles, let's get this money, and let's get these muscles, baby. All right, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget, leave those comments. The more you guys comment, and, and share the better for the channel the channel will keep on growing and growing if you guys don't do that the channel will die i promise you the channel will no longer be relevant on youtube all right peace i'm out